Morning, everybody. Brian Newbert here from goldenblack.com, live in the old home office. Once again, it's been a long time since I've done one of these by myself. Uh, but as you're probably aware, uh, Purdue just landed a basketball commitment from uh, Trey Kaufman from Silver Creek High School down in Sellersburg, Indiana, a Rivals.com four-star, top 50 ranked player. And uh, in light of the news, <clears throat> I figured I would do a quick little uh, Cliff Notes version of a simulcast for uh, uh, to put up on a couple of our different platforms here. Uh, there will be a lot more coverage uh, to come, or there's a lot more coverage now, up on our website at goldenblack.com, so be sure to check that out. Uh, we do have a free trial offer if you're interested in checking us out. If you're accessing this on one of our platforms, that is not directly off goldenblack.com. That is, if you're accessing it via goldenblack.com, you're good. But if you're not and you're interested, go check us out. This is brought to you by our friends at the Purdue Union Club Hotel. I have not been there yet myself, but I have driven past it. I've heard about it, and it's supposed to be awesome. So if you are uh, making plans to visit West Lafayette uh, at any point in time, Purdue's campus, uh, anytime soon, please check out, check out the Purdue Union Club Hotel uh, right there off the Purdue Memorial Union. Uh, it's Friday. I don't know if they have any vacancies or not, but hell, you can hop in the car right now and see. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what's going on here. I'm choking. Trey Kaufman. Uh, Obviously, uh, commitment number two for Purdue for the 2021 class. Uh, a really big get for Purdue from a part of the state that has been a bit of a Bermuda Triangle historically for uh, Purdue in recruiting. Not that they've recruited all that many kids from southern Indiana, but uh, where Trey Kaufman comes from in Sellersburg. Uh, basically, a stone's throw from Louisville, uh, obviously close to Bloomington, close to Lexington. That's not exactly the uh cradle of Purdue Boilermaker fandom, uh, shall we say, uh, for Purdue to go in there and get a really highly ranked, highly regarded and highly recruited player uh, was obviously something that's not been done very often before and uh, is a credit to the job Purdue did uh, from day one on this recruitment, recruiting this player. This was not a straight line by any means. Uh, a lot went into Purdue ultimately landing Trey Kaufman. Dynamics of this recruitment changed quite a bit uh, over the last few months. Uh, early on, this was a Caleb First or Trey Kaufman kind of thing, uh, clearly. And obviously, Caleb First committed to Purdue in March. That seemed to take you know Purdue out of it for Trey Kaufman. That was a perfectly reasonable thought. There was a while there where I'm not entirely sure Trey Kaufman had an active Purdue scholarship offer for that reason. This summer, Trey Kaufman was really good. He had a, a really, really productive quarantine. Uh, if anybody benefited from the pandemic, uh, I'm not going to say anybody did, but from a basketball perspective, Trey Kaufman clearly worked like crazy uh, during the time off, got bigger, got quicker, got faster, got stronger. It's getting bigger by the day. He's a very, very skilled player. And I think what you saw this summer, uh, on top of a bit of a competitive streak, you saw a player who legitimately now can be something other than the four or five he probably would have been a year ago at this time. Now he's probably more of a three, four sort of player. Uh, Purdue can fit him into a couple of different places here. But to kind of break him down as a player a little bit for you, real quick, he's uh, you know he's a good six eight, six nine. As I said, he's getting bigger uh, too. But he has a lot of inside outside game to him. I've always compared him a little bit to Vincent Edwards. Uh, formerly of Purdue. I don't think he's got the guard skills necessarily that Vince Ed Edwards did, but he's that same sort of inside-outside sort of player. He's got a good post-up game to him. He's good around the basket. He can shoot turnarounds. He can shoot mid-range jumpers, but he really has extended his three-point range. Looks a lot more confident from what I saw this summer. Shooting from distance um, has improved his ball handling some, and uh, it's just a really good all-around player. Uh, he's not ranked 32nd nationally by Rivals.com um, and top 50 by a lot of different people, you know, for no reason whatsoever. He wasn't recruited by the people he was recruited by for no reason whatsoever. Uh, this came down to Purdue and Indiana, Virginia and North Carolina were both uh, in there as well. Uh, I think the distance from home with Virginia and North Carolina really knocked them out. I think he always, from day one, liked Purdue better than Indiana. Uh, Indiana did make a lot of sense, though, so I, I didn't think there ever was a time where you should take them for granted, knock them out of this, but Purdue and Xavier uh, were in the best shape early on. Xavier fell off. Louisville was never really a player for Trey Kaufman, even though he lives 15 minutes away, however long it is, and, uh, you know, 
Purdue had to had to, had to dig into this one and and overcome some changing dynamics in this recruitment to get him. In addition to beating off a lot of other good people, I'm going to get a Beavis and Butthead gif off of that, aren't I? Um, anyway, uh, you know what Purdue has now, not only in Trey Kaufman but in Trey Kaufman and Caleb First, is just an outstanding, outstanding front court pairing here. Uh, to kind of build your program around for the next couple of years. Uh, both of these guys, I think they can be really, really good together. Uh, I think convincing both of them of that, you know, was something obviously Purdue had to address as the dynamics around this, you know, sort of evolved. But I think they can be really, really good together. I think they're both skilled guys. They're both unselfish guys. They're both, they both play hard. They're both good, good people. And I think both of them can play inside they can play outside and I, I think they're they just complement each other really well now Caleb first is going to play the four at Purdue Caleb first is also going to play the five at times I think his best matchups lie at the five and I, I, it, I, I think a lot of people a lot of basketball people would agree with me there Trey Kaufman will play both of those forward spots I'm quite certain I think you can play Caleb first the four you can play Trey Kaufman at the three with a center between them um and be okay. I don't know if those are ideal optimized lineups necessarily, but Purdue has a template for this. They played Caleb Swanning at the four. They played Vincent Edwards at the three years ago. Uh, there were some imperfections in those lineups, but Purdue won a hell of a lot of games, you know, with those lineups. So what Matt Painter's always shown himself to be is a really adaptable coach who's really good at figuring out his personnel. Um, aside from playing two centers next to one another, that sometimes doesn't work. But I think that uh, I think that Caleb First and Trey Kaufman can play together and play really well together uh, under a lot of different uh, front court configurations. Caleb First is a top 50 player himself, a four-star player, uh, the top-rated player in, in, in Indiana by some services. Trey Kaufman's the top-rated uh, player in Indiana, according to some services as well, including Rivals.com, who we work for. They're both really good, and I don't know if there's any way to say one is necessarily better than the other. I think they're both really, really good, and they complement each other really, really well. And uh, I think they'll be really good together at Purdue. And Purdue ought to be doing cartwheels right now over uh, not only the talent they have coming into their front court starting in 2021, but the roster they're building. Because last year, you signed a couple of centerpiece guards in Jaden Ivey and Ethan Morton after you signed another really good one in Brandon Newman, who everything I understand has been really, really good in preseason practice. That's a really good core of players on the perimeter. Now you've got these two forwards coming in, um, and you've just got a lot of talent coming into this program. And, uh, you know, Purdue's building a pretty nice core here to, to maybe make another run here um, at some Big Ten championships, at some some deep runs into the NCAA tournament, things like that, starting in 2021. When, you know, this is really a season for Purdue that kind of builds toward uh, next year because you get Eric Hunter back. As a senior, presumably, you get Travion Williams, presumably, back as a senior. You bring in Jaden Ivey and Ethan Morton will have some experience. Brandon Newman will have some experience. Uh, Mason Gillis will have some experience. You bring in a Trey Kaufman and a Caleb first, and suddenly things on paper look really, really good. And, uh, you know, Purdue will have some real ability in its program here moving forward. And uh, today's news of Trey Kaufman committing to Purdue was certainly another big step toward that. So, that's what I got for now. Just wanted to give you a quick little cliff notes on this whole thing. Uh, as I said before, there will be coverage, there will be analysis, there will be video, all sorts of different things at goldenblack.com uh, throughout the evening. Uh, there already is a bunch of it up there right now. We'll, we'll continue covering this, continue talking about it, obviously, uh, indefinitely uh, into next week through the, the early signing period and then on into infinity uh, beyond that, uh, as these guys obviously play out their senior years and, uh, and get to Purdue. So if, if you're not with us at goldenblack.com and you're interested, please go check it out. If you need anything, uh, shoot me an email at bnewbert at goldenblack.com. I can help you get set up, uh, too. This has been a goldenblack.com quick random simulcast. It's been brought to you by our friends at the, uh, Purdue, uh, Union Club Hotel over at the Purdue Memorial Union on campus. If you're uh, planning a trip to Purdue, uh, to campus, to West Lafayette, Anytime soon, please keep them in mind. They're, they're brand new. They're renovated. They're awesome from everything I understand. So please check them out and please check out our site at goldenblack.com if you haven't already.